Good morning. Well, it's afternoon, but we just got done playing caught. Well, plan was to tattoo Ernie today, but he backed out because he's scared. Not really. Well, halfway. He backed out. He's got a Kodak Black show tonight. Yeah. Doesn't want to get into any rough houseness. Started playing PUBG. Feels like he's got the W in him today. Yeah, so we're going to play. I feel like we need a mental health day. Yeah. Of just chilling and yeah. not really running around. So we're going to, he's going to run to the weed shop. I'm going to take Omar for a walk and then we're going to come back and we're going to be Twitch streaming until like five o'clock. <laughs> so today's vlog will not have a lot of me yelling at Ern or laughter or, or jokes but we'll be back shortly with weed and other things and a dissertation on the beluga 2.0 yeah and a diss track all right all right please. I'm out. just get me oh, oh. oh you're so great can i have it get it He's back! Omar, he's back. We've got chunky white band, which is an indica. Let's go! And then for the sativa. This is what we're really concerned with. Super cheesy flow. Super cheesy flow in the motherfucking building. And I got your roast beef for bacon, provolone, and potato chips. Thanks. From where? Uh, that same oh. place. And the alcohol was forgotten. Yes. Fuck. It's all good. Okay, you know what I mean? Anymore? People are gonna be like, God damn it, stop drinking so <coughs> Taking a dab. Did you already eat or something? I just ate my while driving. <laughs> <laughs> I got two of them. Probably, I was like, well, why am I waiting? probably got two for himself. And then no, you're I was like, well, Teddy can eat his and I'll play. I'll just eat that. Well, he's like, oh, if I eat mine now, <laughs> if I eat mine now, I'll get to go first. That's exactly oh what I was Oh my god. Thinking. All right, dab time. Like, people want us to review the weed. The problem is, is that I'm generally, I only review weed if it's bad. Like when the weed's bad, I'm like, this shit is garbage. Yeah. Most weed make, most good weed makes me feel good. Kind of the same though. Like, That's what I say too. It's like, I'm not, well, this is a little more euphoria in the forehead. And like, yeah. I don't think. I'm gonna start really curating it. The melting point, of the um, super cheesy flow is a little different with, with cheese. And the flow with a cross. One has a boiling point of 76 degrees Fahrenheit and the other one 83. So we have to time this just right or will not successfully get the cannabinoids and the terpenes into our receptor. Yeah, probably a not a beginner size dab here. No. It's definitely an intermediate. If this is your first time, maybe you want to do a third of that. I like to do the face feel. If it feels too hot next to my face, it's too hot. That feels about perfect. Smoke clean, clean smoke. A little, mmm. Oh, you can smell that lemony. Mmm. Hit you with the citrus on the intake, all right. <laughs> on the way out, a little aftertaste. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. All right, I'm giving it a try. Give it a shot. <clears throat> Put it right to my chin. <laughs> Singe the <hair. laughs> <laughs> Feeling good, ready to kill. Ready to kill. Ready to kill. All right, back to Twitch. The dude uh, in the store, yeah, he not only hooked it up. Dude, everybody I saw had fucking Ultra Boost. So the guy buying weed in the rec side, I see he's got the Burgundy 3.0s. We walk out at the same time. And I was like, nice kicks. He's like, yeah, man. Oh, shit, you too. Those are fire. And I was like, thanks. I come around the corner. There's a dude eating pizza. And I hear him. He says something to me. And I'm like, what? I, it almost like sounded like he was talking shit at first. Yeah. I said, what? I was like, what? I was like, what? And he's like, He's like, no, dude, love the shirt, love the shoes, love them both, man. Big, and he had like a Supreme backpack oh, and nice. shit. So I was like, oh, thanks, dude. I was like, Boost God, that's us. He's like, no. He's like, really? Right? That's in Denver? He's like, hold on a second. And like, started looking. And then I think the sandwich dude hooked it up because of the block, too. Nice. We in the motherfucking building. Yeah. All right. Um. All right, Twitch time. So that was a failed project. Yep. How's your stress levels? <sighs> I need a nap. I don't think that you should play more than 30 minutes of video games. When I was a kid, I never understood when they'd be like, you shouldn't play video games for a long time. It's too much stress. And I was like, what are you talking about? It's just a video game. But now if you're playing video games with you for a long time, I'm thinking you should limit it to maybe 30 minutes at a time. Uh, I'm not roasting you, it's just 
I don't like to, I don't like to see it's it. Intense. It's really not. <laughs> but we played so long, we now have to shoot these on feeds in the house. So that's what we're gonna do real quick, and then I'll be back shortly. So today was spent mostly Twitch streaming. Uh, we were supposed to tattoo Earn today. He decided in the middle of playing video games that he didn't want to get tattooed today. He'd rather do it tomorrow instead of trying to run around and switch things around we just we just streamed all day basically and kind of took a day to chill which wasn't that chill because playing video games with urn is very stressful i just had to take like 45 minutes to decompress after that so for some reason that game we play my man my man cannot keep it together i still love him he's still my friend even though you guys some of you don't understand how friendship works today there's news about there's yeezy stuff going on and i've been getting a lot of requests about beluga 2.0s i haven't done a video yet yeezys what i think about belugas 2.0 resell all that jazz um first and foremost because people tagging me all day the desert rat the yeezy drop with the desert rat is absolutely a not cop hard pass even if it has boost in it it's not an attractive shoe to me it's a very obvious uh, pivot towards the Balenciaga type runner as well and um, it's just not something I'm into. I didn't get into shoe. I'm not a high beast. I don't just like anything that comes out I don't just kind of migrate to it. I really fell in love with boost and that's something that people forget and without boost the shoes are fucking meaningless to me basically. It doesn't matter how cool I think it looks. Once I put it on my feet, I'm not gonna feel the same. And I've been pretty vocal about all the stuff that I do like about Adidas and Boost. And I've been vocal about the stuff I don't like about Adidas and shoes in general. Yeah, I'm not just gonna like switch up. A lot of people think that I'm gonna just all of a sudden switch up and go to another shoe or follow the trends. It's not what I'm doing. And honestly, I would stop buying shoes before I would just switch up to another shoe just because it's popular. So with that being said, the Desert Rat, I'm not buying it. There's not a chance I'm buying it even if it had boost in it. I think the silhouette could be saved. Like I think if you deconstructed that silhouette with boost and even maybe put a cage around it and did some other things with the upper, it could be saved. Uh, but on the other hand, the basketball version that I saw a sample of, I'm not super against. The Wave Runner, which I'm still waiting to be shipped. I know, trust me, I'm annoyed with it as well, but they haven't shipped. But the Wave Runner, I'm interested in checking out. I, I like it a little bit, but there's not like, there's not this overwhelming desire to fit in through shoes. Like I didn't like buy shoes to fit in. I bought shoes, I started buying boosts because I bought shoes for so long, became disenchanted with what was going on. And then there was something new, exciting, and fresh and it just brought me back. So I've explained that a few times and I think that that's like gotta be remembered because I'm not here chasing the next big thing. I'm very satisfied with what I have, even more than satisfied and honestly, I'm it's, it's awesome that they're still dropping stuff that I'm interested in, but if the day comes where there's not stuff I'm interested in, I'll stop buying shoes. I'll still vlog, I'll still do whatever I want every day, but I'm not chasing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not chasing after any kind of fulfillment through the shoes. I like it. I like having this channel and I like being able to communicate and we all kind of relate over shoes So that shit's awesome, but I'm not like in any way like a blind follower nor do I think that you should be but I think that's it for Yeezy stuff right now Oh, and the fucking desert rat came on a crazy pre-order and you had to get the like a pack like a whole outfit So I mean good for Kanye great marketing great, you know good for him growing his brand and doing all that stuff But I, I certainly don't like everything that Kanye does. And I certainly don't like everything Adidas does So let's just uh, put that all out on the table first, but with the Beluga 2.0. This is the box Get a good look, all you busters out there. Bust away. We reviewed the yellow, frozen yellow, um, and we'll be reviewing the, what is it called? Ice blue, not ice blue. What is it called? Everyone's been saying it, and I can't even remember the name of it right now. Whatever, the new one that's coming, the blue. What is that thing called? I can't remember. Frozen, no. And yes, I have dog hair all over me because Omar has been all over me today. Oh, and the blue tent. So, uh, and I'll get the blue tent as well. So one thing that I'll say about 
V2s, um, especially any of like one of the earth tones and the colors, you know, the colored shoes, their colors are a little off of the spectrum. They're not just like primary colored. I think that's important in art and I think that's important just, you know, I think that's a good look instead of just like what I call out of the bottle color. Like, out of the bottle color looks like shit to me usually and that is definitely being implemented in the V2. I think that helps make it a more attractive shoe. So, um, just for an art geek perspective. But this is the Beluga 2.0 350V2. So we did review one the other day. Um, the main thing with this one, so I'll give it to you real quick. 350V2, there's boost inside there. That is an outer cage. The outsole is a boost cage. And then there's the 350V2 pattern, which has been pretty consistent through all the shoes that aren't just the solid. There is still a stripe in this one, it's just the same color as the upper, whereas like in the regular Beluga, it's bright orange. Uh, comparing color, the Beluga 2.0 is definitely more of a gray colorway, whereas the V1 is definitely more of a brown tannish colorway. So there's a huge difference in the two, they're really absolutely nothing alike, and I don't even know why they're even both called Belugas, to be honest. Like, I got all, so the orange, matches sure but it's just not they're not even close and the amount of orange in this shoe versus this shoe is minimal so um they really aren't aren't close at all i mean they're yeah they're completely different shoes i feel like this as well as the breads are more classier wear like you could wear this out to like a nice dinner if you had to dress up but if you wanted to or you had to something like this i feel like would work a lot easier than something like this just because it's a little more loud so fit on these same as these really these were super tight this actually got a size 14 so this is perfect um and it has the insole in it this is a 13 there's no insole in it and it's still hella tight so i would say in the v2 if you can size up at least half Omar definitely bit that. Definitely like a little snag right there. Size up at least half, if not a full size. If you got a pair and you don't like the way they fit, take the insole out, wear the shit out of them, they're bound to loosen up a little bit. And unlace them. I know a lot of people don't like the lacing, but just unlace the fucking shoe. Like if you unlace the shoe, it becomes looser. A lot of don't unlace shoes and then talk about how it doesn't fit. So, well, it, of course it doesn't fit. It's tied onto your foot before you even put it on. It is fine, even with it, it being a little small. It, once I take the insole out, it's not a killer. Uh, uh, it is a little strange the inconsistencies with adidas sizing i have no reason or understanding why the sizes are all over the place the zebras and other pairs seem to fit normally and then with the frozen yellows in this pair we've gone back to kind of size down so easy resell and just and yeah i guess resell and perception and like where it's all going and it's boost dead basically yada 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 as i like to call it resell on these is down like crazy this is the most produced pair of yeezys that we've gotten there are more pairs floating around resell right now i've seen as low as $320, which is pretty insane for a Yeezy compared to last year or even the year before that, or even the Zebra Drop, where the resale initially was around $1,700. Now, obviously, this has to do with supply and demand. There's more of these. More people got these for retail than ever before who actually want to wear them. So those people are wearing them. Then resellers, different tiers of resellers, some dump immediately, go on to the next thing, keep the show moving. Some invest, hold shoes, will wait for the resale to creep up on these and sell uh, once stock has been run through. Right now is probably the lowest that you're gonna see resale, you know, unless there's another restock, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Resale is going to begin to climb up, but this is definitely the lowest that you've seen it. So given that fact, a lot of people have decided now that they just don't like the Yeezy V2. You know, like, I really like the Zebras, but I don't like this one, or I don't like, and it's always, something and it's bullshit what is bullshit is, is they're only talking about the limited availability of the shoe if limited availability is the only reason that you like a shoe then you don't like the shoe you like the feeling that it gives you by being an elitist there is a humongous humongous difference in that emotion we're not talking about the same thing and it's not even a one of one thing either because i can make you a one of one bracelet made out of cheerios and fruit loops and you're not going to wear it and covet it so it's a weird social construct i can understand to a degree i love to flex what i have i like to show what i have acquired but i don't want to show it in the sense of like hey fuck you i've got this i'm better than you because that's not what it is and that is the conversation that keeps that i keep seeing is basically people who think because this shoe is more 
more available and because someone they don't think is cool can acquire it, they're less valuable as people, these shoes now suck and that's just it. That to me is super whack, it's the part of sneakers that I really really hate. Honestly the more that I do this, the more I realize that's what turned me off before with other people's bullshit and how they apply it. So my advice to you that is to fucking forget what everyone else says. If you like this color and it's in your price range, buy it. If you don't like this color, it's not in your or it's not in your price range, don't buy it. Move on to the next thing. Personal style comes down to a lot of things. And it's definitely not start or stop with what you're fucking wearing. So that's it with the Yeezys. And I'd like to add the Yeezy timeline, if we will. Uh, I think people have forgotten the entire basis of the Kanye West rant when he was talking about, you know, the famous, um, I just need the infrastructure, working with Ikea, designing furniture, wanting to do school uniforms, like wanting to basically curate all these different aspects of our lives. That's where Kanye, as far as how I've interpreted it, was is trying to go with his vision. He sees how he could apply his style onto daily products. Shoes being one of those daily products. Clothing, shoes, fashion, and then going into industrialization. It wouldn't surprise me one day if you see a Kanye West designed headphones and then go down that line however far as you would like to go. That is how I took it and that's how I see the vision. So when I see everyone's gonna get a Yeezy, well I don't think he necessarily means everyone's gonna get a Yeezy V2 or like one model. You know obviously when the V1 came out they didn't make a massive amount. They saw the initial response so in the next season like okay let's do this. Let's build more factories. Let's up production. Everything takes time to scale and they're scaling it as they can. Look at all the different models Kanye's putting out. You you have the 350, the 750, the 700, the 500, the, I mean there's like models on models on models, not even all of them have boost. It's very obvious to me that Kanye is trying to make an entire collection speaks to just about anyone on any level, which means everyone will get Yeezys. So you have to kind of define what a Yeezy is. You know, a Calabasas shoe is technically a Yeezy, I guess, right? It's just, it's silly, it's silly. What other people hear is, you hear everyone get Yeezys, everyone's going to get a chance to get the most limited shoe in the world. That's not fucking true. That's not how it's going to play out. And that's not ever how it was intended to play out. And it's not even good business. Different models are going to be more limited than others and harder to get. Some of them will be everywhere. But that doesn't devalue one model to the next. It's all about how you rock it. It's all about how you feel about when you're wearing it. Yeah, really like what everybody else says about it. Are, they're, they're just, they're working out some other issue. Like, absolutely some other issue. So it has nothing to do with shoes. At the end of the day, I think Kanye is just an artist who is very frustrated at trying to scale his vision, whether that be with fashion, footwear, any kind of you know applicable, tangible art, music included. I think we should just expect that. I think expecting that I think that you're going to see him apply that to as many things as he can get his hands on. As a creative individual, I can completely understand it. I can completely understand that path, wanting to follow it, and the frustrations of trying to scale um, and apply how you think things should be done. Um, yeah, but... All right, cool. That's it for today. But yeah, that was my rant about Yeezys and resell and where it's been, where it's going. This is the V2 Beluga. And I'm out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to get earned tatted. And that's it. So peace.
Okay, so I almost forgot. Um, $500 StockX gift card credit, whatever we want to call it, giveaway announcement. Uh, sorry for the delay. I've been waiting on information from StockX. So I finally have the winner. And that winner's name is Danny Dressler. D A N N Y D R E S S. L-E-R, I will be in contact with you. I will give you an email for you to email and then they will give you the credit and you'll be able to buy the shoes that you want. So shout out to you guys that entered. Shout out to StockX for being legit as fuck. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, oh, it's not it. The Jordans, the Jordans are still here. Hold on. The StockX3 Jordans whoop, have not been given away yet either. So if you would like these, if you want to win these, leave a comment in this video telling me that you want them and why you want them. And we will pick a winner this week, maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? All right, I'm out of here for real. Peace. Peace. Peace.